Hello guys, James here and welcome back to episode number 61 or 2 now on my Rosie Gore and FIFA Ultimate Team on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, to, in today's episode, we have got the next two game highlights from the Discord tournament, still in the group stage. This is our third game. Um, you'll see here, his team's got a very nice Premier League team with uh, Alan upgraded, in form, Alexandro in its centre back and that one's to watch, Jao Cancelo. And uh, yeah... The player we are playing is Zeno Alta or something like that. I can't quite remember how you say it, but um, yeah, he was a very tough player. And you saw that at the start, I showed you him hitting the post once there. And uh, yeah, out of our two games, he hit the post. Uh, I've got it down here. He hit the post six times. Um, and I've, yeah, I've put all of them in because we had a little joke after our games that it just felt like ridiculous. Like, yeah, just hit, just felt like so many times in those games. But yeah, we do take a 2-0 lead, uh, and that 2 becomes 3 pretty early on, thanks to Moussa Dembele breaking from midfield and putting that into the bottom corner. Um, and obviously, yeah, the first goal was a penalty uh, after a little bit of a mistake from him, I think. And then the second one, another mistake, unlucky from him, um, playing the ball to Gabriel Jesus from a free kick. Um, and then, yeah, obviously that Dembele goal. And then we do some good work down the wing, cutting it back to Gabriel Jesus from Felipe Anderson. And uh, the goalie makes a good save, but it pops straight back to uh, Gabriel Jesus for an easy tap-in. But then into the second half, he, uh, he takes control of the game a little bit. And uh, he scores an outside of the box goal with Raheem Sterling. Very nice there. And pretty much straight off a kickoff, wins the ball back, plays it up. I do a silly pass straight back to Son. He plays it to Sterling, back to Son and uh, bangs out for his second goal outside of the box. So in this game, he's doing well. He's had two outside of the box, or no, three outside of the box shots. Uh, and you see the fourth there. So he's had two outside the box goals from that game and two um, come off the woodwork. So sort of 50-50 uh, getting back from that, from his outside of the box shots. So yeah, that was sort of fair enough from that one, but we do get the 4-2 win, which is very nice indeed. And then into the second game, this is the one that was mental. It felt like just like he had so many shots, you'll see them. But um, yeah, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you get notified when my videos go live. And uh, yeah, if we can hit 20 likes again, the last video, make sure you go back on that as well. Not quite on 20, but yeah, if we can hit 20 likes, that'll be amazing. So if you're watching this and it's not on 20, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so into the second game. We actually hit the post and it luckily rebounds straight back to Vardy to get an easy tap in. Um, and then he plays it into Sterling and he gets a bit of a lucky rebound straight to Storage, who's never going to miss that one. And uh, that Storage flashback, although it was probably, was it the first flashback? I think it might have been the first flashback of this game. Um, but he's still a menace. And then you can see there he's had two off the bar. Um, so he's up to two in this game with uh, no outside of the box goals. And then you saw that Vardy chance should have shot it first time but we tried to control it and then uh, his goal come out and, f and uh, saved it very nicely but then he gets an amazing goal from that storage again his second goal of the game outside of the box just loops it over check from the best part of probably 30 yards um, and then there's another one almost straight after rebounding back off the woodwork and uh, so he's up to I think that's four in this game with uh, just the one outside of the box goal but we do come back into the game a bit of a scruffy goal play it back comes pops back out to and the on the edge of the box and he finesses that past his goalie and uh then we'd get in sort of later on to the game we've made our subs get Goretzka wins the ball back nice bit of work dribbles it into the box plays it to Ibrahimovic and with his high finishing and composure he's never going to miss that a nice finish to go three two up then into the latter stages of the game almost the end of the game just like getting into like last kicks of the game stages here and uh, I'll play it out lose the ball and uh, that storage completes his hat trick and uh, that was a bit gutting but he definitely deserved it great player caused me a lot of problems and uh, yeah it was two tough games against him but that means we have got uh, what is it now five wins and a draw from our six group stage games so I think we're definitely getting out of the groups in the discord tournament and uh, yeah that's amazing so we're definitely going to make our coins back and a little bit of profit at least just for getting out of the groups and then hopefully we can pro progress even further. And uh, yeah, so now we have got this week's uh, marquee matchups 
and uh, these are all very easy the Juventus Milan one remember if you uh, if you haven't done these yet and you need a bit of help a little bit of guidance you can pause the video on this screen and uh, it will give you a little bit of help and um, show you how I've done it and how you could do it as well and uh, yeah like I've said before the marquee matchups they're starting to release a lot better packs now even for these squads that aren't um, all goal teams you're still getting some sort of goal pack normally for it so that's nice as well um, as you can see this one Barcelona Atletico one um, we use some untravelled Barca players um, and yeah you could use bronzes as well in this because you only need a 74 rated team so that's very nice as well um, and then this Spartak versus CSK one this is massive and I advise you to check your club Firstly, I'll do this SBC with the three um, Russian players that you need and then check your club if you've got any spare ones because I managed to sell and you'll see it all coming up. I managed to sell loads of them and I made 30k back. So all the, all the Russian players that I sold, um, Russian league and Russian players, I sold for a total of 30k guys. Amazing and that's like um, just all the evidence you need. So as to why I save players and keep stocking my club up with loads of players um, is because when EA release um, these SPCs that have specific requirements um, for players that are there's not that many of um, and obviously everyone wants to do the SPC their price just shoots up and um, I've made an easy 30k off of them as you can start seeing them coming into this into the picture now sending them all for about a thousand or just under and then also because of the foot champions cup that is going on in england at the moment there's an sbc for a rare mega pack i believe or just a mega pack but uh, that required english players six of them and three uh four rares so the english players went up to about two and a half k and uh you won't believe it but all the ones i had in my club i managed to make 130k or just under 130k before ea tax unbelievable guys so that's just those two SBCs that Russian one and the English one I made 160k back off of that so a bit of VA tax call it 8k for the 5% I've made 150k in the space of two days with these SBCs uh, and they're both still out at the moment so I'll make sure when you're watching this go quickly check your club any ones you don't need after you've done the SBCs yourself quickly go and flog those players because it's just so many coins and as you can see we're up to 1 million six hundred and almost fifty thousand coins so it's just amazing um, coming close to team of the season and uh, I'm definitely yeah I think upgrades to the team could be happening very soon indeed um, and then yeah this is it you can start seeing those um, English ones uh, and we also did win a uh, the silver tournament that is out at the moment offline there you see it just with some English silvers that I've got in the club um, there's a couple that I've bought but most of them are just ones that we've packed um, so that was very nice indeed got a gold pack for that and then we also do another offline draft to get a couple of packs for that and my next video will probably be showing you uh, or doing a live pack opening as well so stay tuned for that and then a load of more sold items doing a bit of bronze pack doing a bit of low minimum bidding on players selling them all for more but that is going to be the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching make sure you uh, comment like and subscribe on the video and uh, yeah check out my links as well and i shall see you in the next one cheers guys